Hi everybody, welcome to another video. I am not someone who has always been comfortable with the way they look. And when you're a beginner artist, you kind of go off of reference photos a lot. So I did what everyone does and I went on Pinterest and scrolled through hundreds and hundreds of photos that I wanted to use as references. And I did end up using a lot of them. And eventually you get to like a point where you kind of are a little tired of kind of recreating like someone else's like artistic work. So eventually you get to the point where you kind of have to start taking your own reference photos. It took a while for me to get comfortable with the idea of taking photos of myself that I was going to use to like make art that just seemed really really weird to me. And now that self portrait day is coming up slash is here already, I'm filming this in advance, I just wanted to take that opportunity to you know try it again. The one that I did last time was a graphite sketch and I remember it not taking me very very long but of course I was being very very purposeful because it was at the very very beginning of my art journey and so now i'm here a year later and i kind of want to see how things have evolved since then and kind of what has changed what hasn't things that got better the things that i left behind um what i might want to revisit what i want might want to let go of kind of stuff like that and i of course want to just track my overall skill level as well of course i'm still struggling between whether i'm gonna do like a realism or not i haven't done realism in a hot minute as you can see back here they're not super realistic but that is one of my self-portraits as well right there i unfortunately don't have very many self-portraits with me anymore just because with the way that i clear stuff out the first stuff that tends to go are self-portraits because i don't want to like keep drawings of myself around very much but i am gonna try and keep these yearly ones i guess we'll get started with photos now don't mind me while i awkwardly take a bunch of photos in my office let's bring y'all in a little closer so most of my curtains are closed in my office currently but i do have this led um rope light situation here and i'm gonna kind of use that to create some like more contrast between the light and dark sides of my face i'm not entirely sure if this is going to be like helpful for me later because i don't know what kind of style i'm going to be doing my self-portrait in but um it's good to have options so just good to have options um, i don't really feel like doing a full figure um i'm not looking my best i'm not feeling my best so i don't really want to struggle with like the poses too much so i'm gonna stick with chest up today not that big of a deal i'll try and go quickly just because i don't want to freak myself out and like get in my head too much but yeah so i'm gonna go do that i don't know if that was enough photos but that's kind of all i have the patience for today now i have to look back on them and kind of decide what i'm gonna do so I'll be back when I have those decisions made. <laughs> all right, so I had a second to look through all the photos and I tried to keep a neutral expression, but they all look so sad. I did get a few that are like possible for me to use, but I'm, God, I'm freaking out. I'm gonna show y'all. Yeah, some of them are kind of blurry too because I was like trying to do it as fast as possible because I don't enjoy taking pictures of myself, but I tried my best to be a good model for myself, but you know, I just look so sad. Let me see if I can like look at that. I look so sad. It looks like my antidepressants are not working. Yeah, so I have a few options. Um, I do like this one kind of where I'm like looking at the light, but I do like the, like, the little light that's popping in in my eyes. I'm gonna look at it for just a little bit longer and just kind of try and decide but after, other than that I might just take some creative liberty and not like you know refer to the photo too much just for my facial structures and I'll get started I'm literally here like getting set up and I just realized I don't have any freaking paper I had all the intention in the world to go to the store before I started filming and I completely forgot the option I have is my watercolor paper and like what do I do cause like I don't want to do it in gouache. I don't really feel like dealing with like the- <laughs> My paints are so dried out, I don't really feel like dealing with that. Alrighty, so I think we left off um, at me not being able to find the right paper. But what happened was that I looked at my palette and it kind of needed to be sprayed down and like I had to let it sit for like a day just so it could like re-moisten the the paints so it could get ready to like mix a little bit better um so i let that sit there i've already sprayed it i think like two three times since yesterday um and i've just kind of let it sit and hopefully it's looking a lot better now but i'm about to check it 
Um, so let's take a look, see here. All right, so that might not look the best to y'all, but honestly, this is a million times better than what it was at um, before. I am gonna be using this little mixing palette over here that I got from Binders, just a big mix of brushes that I'm gonna be using from. And to do my sketch, I'm gonna be using this um, Prismacolor Water Soluble Graphite that I used to make my pumpkins also in the last video. But now I am all set up and ready to go. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start my little sketch here. Uh, I'm not really gonna be focusing a lot on realism today. I'm just gonna kind of keep it in my style. I am gonna be using that um, picture I was talking about that I said looked really, really sad, but I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, I'm not great at sketching on camera, so hopefully it doesn't come out too bad, but it might just be like dipping in and out a little bit. All right, so I made some pretty big strides on the um, self-portrait sketch so far. However, in the pictures that I took, my hair was like a little bit more wet, so it was laying a little bit more flat. Um, but this is how my hair looks like when it's dry. Let me like look at that. Like it's, I have a lot of hair and it's like really, really puffy. And like that's kind of what I want to like emulate in this sketch, even if it's not on the photo. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to add that to it. Just kind of want to talk about that a little bit. Alrighty, so I just finished my sketch and I think it's looking okay, you know? Um, it'll change a little bit once I get the paint on here, so I'm not worried too much. For the gouache, I know it's probably gonna be like a little to watch me do, but um, I just kind of like pick them out of the thingy and then like put them in my palette and I go like across my paper. So sometimes some stuff's gonna fall and I apologize in advance for that in case that like really, really bothers you. Um, I tend to work pretty recklessly. Um, yeah, quite unfortunately. Um, I did clean this desk off completely before I started filming, but usually this is like an incredibly messy, chaotic place. I tend to use my gouache a little thinner sometimes. Not quite like watercolor, but like not that traditional thicker gouache. But I am trying to go there, so I might be doing that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. And if I have any other things that I want to kind of mention while I do it, I'll just pop back in and just talk a little bit. All right, so for my painting process, I typically like to go in and kind of work in the pinks underneath my face and kind of like the oranges. That's kind of where I start. And then after that, I kind of start layering like the more, more of the skin color itself on top. And I know it's gonna look a little different here because I am doing this just in a little bit more, a, like I guess a surrealist color palette, I guess you would call it. Um, they're not like exactly true to like normal lighting because it did use the purple LED rope light, so that's definitely gonna be changing the color values on the skin. So I definitely kinda wanna focus on that like purpley pinks that are kind of happening here. And then I do like to layer very, very slowly, so you'll definitely be seeing that there. I hope to one day get to the point where I can just kind of color match a little bit better without having to like go in and layer a whole bunch. Um, but I'm not there exactly yet, so I'm definitely taking it slower and kind of just building the colors um, from the bottom up. See what we've got here. It's looking okay so far. I'm gonna make this area over here a little darker just to help me see the shapes and everything. Hey, my camera's registering it as a face now that I filled those spots in. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I do tend to use my hands too to like deal with the paint and stuff like that. Now I've gotten to a good level with the face, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of hit the hair a little bit, and then I'm gonna come in at the very, very end and just hit the details throughout the whole thing. I think that'll be my my plan of attack. Actually, I did not do this area down here. Let me just do that real quick. Yeah. 
Um, I am going to be sticking to this like really colorful color palette and I am going to be doing it in like a dark blue type of situation. Maybe some dark pink in there too just because my hair naturally is like really really dark in color. So I don't want it to just be like black on there. I kind of want it to be a little fun, a little playful. So that's what I'm going to be doing for that. I do have to work on my lips though because they look like they're so like downturned right now. I have to bring it up just a little bit. Um, but that'll be a later situation, I think. Right now I think it's looking fine, so. Okay, now I'm gonna add in some red. Okay, we're a little bit closer now because I am gonna just jump into the face again and just kind of work a little bit there. But then I gotta get the sweatshirt in there. Um, so I'm just gonna get the face a little bit out of the way. to fill in the background with a color so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do a very very quick pass down here on the sweatshirt and I did want this self-portrait to be just way way lax and just kind of focus a lot more on kind of what my art's been like this year and not really like trying to do something different so I am glad that I've stuck to the gouache. So I'm going to put this like light blue color in the background because I've been obsessed with it this year and uh, I'm just going to put it down there. Okay, so we got that background in and now I'm gonna go in with like a dark color down here. I'm probably just gonna mix the blue and the red again. And let's zoom me all back out. There we go. So we got to this point of the painting, but I'm just going to take a second and I'm going to let this all this dry and then I'm going to come back and put ink on it with um, my micron pen. Um, so I just need to wait for it to completely dry off and I'm just going to go and uh, hang out in the living room, probably play some Switch. Um, but other than that, I am really liking how it looks and I'm really happy with it. So I'm just going to stop here, um, lock the door to my office so my cats don't touch it and yeah. Alrighty, so it is the next day. I am wearing the same sweater because I love the sweater. It's a different angle, so that's how you know it's a different day. I'm just gonna work on finishing up some of the painting part a little bit, and then I'm gonna go in with the ink, but for now I'm just gonna chill out and just work a little bit more on the painting, trying to finalize some of that color, trying to fix some of the shadows and everything, and then I'll get to the fun part, which is the ink.
Alrighty, so I'm done with the rest of the painting and I'm gonna go in with this Micron brush tip pen. It kind of looks like this. And I'm just gonna work on it for a little bit. makes my skin look pretty good oh my god all right so now all the painting's done i removed the tape and now it's time for the big reveal which i know you guys have seen a lot of it already but drum roll please here it is i'm gonna enter some nicer clips of the piece but i do have it here with me so i just wanted to talk a little bit about the piece as a whole um i really really like it i think the piece ended up looking pretty pretty good it's definitely in my type of style so I'm really, really happy that that um, is reflected in here. However, there are already some things that I would change. So if I were to do the same piece like tomorrow, just to like redo it, I would try and get my vermilion border a little bit um, more noticeable. As you can tell, it's like this white part on my lips and you see how like it like protrudes out so much. It like casts a shadow right there. Yeah, kind of like that. I would like the small details like those I really, really like. So I would just like try to add that. The fat pad under my eyes is like very, very like um, empty. I don't know how to, else to explain it. It's like really, really like sunken, you know? And I think I ended up portraying that in there a little bit more as um, like dark circles and not as much as just like, um, like lack of fat. So I think finding a better way to portray that there I think just by accentuating maybe the shadow right underneath it instead of making the shadow like the whole part I would definitely change that like just the dark circles that I did um, I don't know if that was because of the lighting in the picture that I took but definitely um, would have changed that even if in the picture it did look more dark I think I would prefer just portraying it a little bit better other than that I think my hair looks a lot like my hair um, it was very different for me to like try and actually get comfortable with like the features on my face but I think it ended up being a really really great exercise and I think even just the exposure to my own face just by itself did like plenty for like the way that I view my face so this exposure stuff Exposure therapy really works, I guess, in this case. I hope you guys give it a shot. Um, if you're an artist or if you're a budding artist, definitely give it a go. It's a great place to start. And it'll definitely, it definitely has helped me with my self-confidence. So ooh. make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. If you guys have any recommendations for another video, please let me know because I am struggling for video ideas. So thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.